And that's my old warehouse right here. Crazy party in there. I ended up falling off a falling off a ladder, cracking my head, broke my collarbone and six ribs. But we had a great show. <laughs> This is the alley. It's really cool. Always, right. oh, oh, always funny stuff happening around here. It starts at Hobie Surfboard. I mean, that's just where I grew up in, in that factory in Capitol Beach, you know. I just loved it. Loved the smell of resin, just the pieces of foam. Like, we'd shape little surfboards out of the blocks of foam that were left when they cut them out. So, that was kind of the very first experience. This is the glass shop. So I've been here for quite a while. See, there's where my son, when he was, when he was a baby, he had a screwdriver. Right after I painted it, he's going like this. So KP, Keone Patterson, 95. This was the beginning of the alley, I think, the surf shop. We're right here in San Clemente in this alley, you know, where I've been down here for the last, I think, almost 27 years now. I was working at Hobie's. At the time, they weren't hitting up the business as hard as they could, and I was just like, I'm out of here. But Herbie needed the help doing the Christian Fletcher models, and so I was doing production work for him, doing tons of my own boards and tons of Christian Fletcher models. Oh, across the alley, that's those guys. <laughs> no, it's Matt and his whole crew lost. All the guys are super fun to work with. Matt was really good. He was kind of a ground, but he just started shaping violas, so he had another another gear and another perspective that opened my eyes a bit. When he saw it all, he goes, make sure that guy's got a lot of boards. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and here's what you gotta do, and here's how you're gonna do business. And I, I do listen to him. Look at Italo's doing right now. You know, he's just all about pivoting and turning, and so some of that you know, his style matches it really well. When I watch him in heat, I'm like, how can you stop that guy? He's going, and it, it's all about the speed, you know, it's all about design and speed. I went to the finals and I watched his first heat, walked the sunset and sat under the coconut trees, freaking out. Well, it's my like, son, I'm okay. <laughs> and then I walked back, watched the rest of the contest, but it's, it was a big deal to see someone go all the way, like, and really do it and just go, wow. It helps quite a bit worldwide, you know. We get calls from around the world. The love of surfboard pulled me out of a lot of shit. I mean, we'd have beer for breakfast, beer for lunch, beer for dinner. <laughs> and that was kind of normal. It gets to a point where you're you're partying, you're doing drugs, you're doing you're drinking, and you just like, it's one or the other art, you know? where I just went, it may be who I am, because I, I like that way more than the drugs and alcohol. At the end of the day, it just went, I got one or the other. Everybody wants you to design a way, then there's ways that, but I've always stayed focused. I'm gonna do my thing my way. I like the way my boards ride for what I do and where I put my fins and everything. It's just, it's really particular the way I shape.